Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Let's discover with strings. As you can see in the title, I got admitted into one of the top universities of Canada for fall 2021. I got admitted into University of Alberta in MSc Computer Science in specialization in multimedia. So computer science, MSc Computer Science and multimedia, these both are different departments. I'll talk about this program in a while. So keep watching this video to you know see my whole journey from right from the IELTS exam till the admit. Now uh, talking about myself, my name is Shravati Shinta and I'm a software engineer. And by the time when I applied to the universities, I had 16 months of experience. I have 7.5 IELTS band with the uh, minimum 6.0 in each module so since I got 6.0 in each module I was not eligible to apply to few universities in Canada UBC requires 6.5 in each module so I had to you know, filter out my university application list as soon as I got my IELTS score I first applied to University of Alberta on November 26th and then I applied to six more universities out of which was University of uh, Waterloo, which has already given me rejection in the month of Jan 2021. So after getting rejection from such a prestigious university, I felt a little hopeless and given the circumstances of the fall 2021, getting admitted even in a very low ranked university became very, very highly competitive. Number one was Canada was being, you know, uh, the number one preferred destination for students. And because of the easy PR thing, a lot of students started to prefer Canada. And number two reason was because of a lot of differs from fall 2020 and the winter in 2021, the seats were already full. So international students do have a less chance than earlier. So no one could guess anything. So it was all, you know, kind of confusion. So there was a, a time when after, you know, getting rejection from Waterloo, I thought that, you know, I should even apply to the colleges. But then, you know, I thought maybe I should, you know, wait for some time and then decide what I need to do. In the month of Feb, on uh, Feb 14th, which is actually Valentine's Day, I got admitted from University of Windsor. So in getting admitted, uh, from a university. I was so excited and happy because I actually felt hopeless. I didn't even have the confidence that I'm going to get admitted in one of the least preferred university of, you know, according to my list. So I thought maybe, you know, I should join it because I didn't receive any admits, you know, by then. Then like around on Feb 20th, which is on Saturday, that is Feb 2020. Of 25th, 2021, I got admit for the uh, MSc Computer Science Multimedia in University of Alberta, and I was so happy that you know getting admit in such a reputed and such a you know wonderful uh, program is not an easy thing. And to be very honest, the journey you know from you know me deciding to get into you know again pursue masters and leaving my current job you know deciding to leave my current job is not at all an easy thing because you know there were a lot of things going on in my mind like with the covid effect the gdp is not you know that good in canada not only in canada it's not good anywhere and the jobs are less and there are more job cuts so but then i thought that you know uh, when I got an opportunity to you know study in such a good college, in such a good university, I should not you know leave it, and I should go ahead with this opportunity. So, this is what my you know journey has been. And uh, if you are you're new to my channel, do subscribe. It. I'm going to make a series of how you should start preparing for fall 2022. I'm going to make a series step by step like how you need to prepare for the exams, what are the universities that you should apply to and everything. 
So why multimedia? Why I didn't apply to the general comp as in advertise? Multimedia has a eight month co-op program, which I have seen that none of the universities in Canada were offering. And when you talk about co-ops, you know they help a lot in getting you a permanent jobs. That is pre placement offers also. And when you have eight months of co-ops, you would have you know living also. You you will get paid for it. So you can you know have your living expenses covered under it. You will have you know, you can even make out some few of your tuition fees also, and you will get an experience, Canadian experience, eight months of Canadian experience. And it may also happen that if you work well and the company you know rules uh, you know comply with, you may also get a job. And I really like the program as it was completely you know related to the AI and machine learning. I wanted to work in AI and machine learning, much. So this is what my story has been, and it's been very delightful for me to share this wonderful news with you. I hope that you know everyone gets admit soon, and don't get you know depressed if you don't get admit anywhere. Start you know uh, improving your profile and see where you are lagging on. There are, you know, I know that fall twenty twenty one is exceptional case, but maybe I think that things would go, you know, better because now everyone is getting visa. So I hope that you know we will have even offline classes soon. So thank you and have a good day ahead.